Hi team, welcome back to High Tech Institution uh, YouTube uh, uh, channel. So I am very much happy to meet you all again with a new uh, topic. Uh, of course, uh, you might have seen uh, in our channel we were you no know, recently explored about you know lots of uh, AI related information, especially into Chat GPT. In this playlist, right, I am planning to start uh, the comparison between Chat GPT and Bard. Okay, I don't know how many of you are aware uh, there is a uh, AI has been you know introduced in Google, which almost similar uh, work in the way of Chat GPT because most of the people right they all uh, using Chat GPT they all familiarized with Chat GPT, but uh, equally right we all know this is the generation almost all the uh, you know technology being evaluated with the support of AI in that term uh, Google introduced there is a AI tool okay which works similar like our uh, chat gpt okay so in this video we are going to compare uh, which tool is best okay what is the difference between each tool you know for, for which requirement we can go with the chat gpt which requirement we can go with bard so those information right we are going to discuss okay i hope this will be really a informative one to you all okay those who are new to uh, bard a okay fine guys this this is the chat gpt you all knows it Okay, that chat GPT, uh, we are using a 3.5 uh, version, our uh, fastest model, great for most every day. Uh, this is something called, you know, upgrade to chat GPT plus. They have introduced that something called GPT-4. This is the version. Okay, so it can, you know, it, it's kind of a premium you need to buy uh, in terms of uh, using this uh, upgrading into the chat GPT plus. Anyway, so this this video, we are going to compare the open source. I mean, open source in the sense, uh, free thing, whatever we are getting in these uh, two AI. That is our action plan, by the way. Okay, so good. So in chat GPT, right, maybe we can try to explore uh, from simple thing and we'll try to you know, compare each other. How, how giving you the response and what are the uh, differences we could feel. Okay, so I can ask uh, chat GPT, hey, uh, can you please uh, give me yeah, example code code for Python uh, functions. Okay, when I ask for chat GPT, yeah, immediately right, it start giving me a response. Uh, so blah blah blah, all those things, right? I'm getting here as a response. So if you scroll up, you know, so we would able to see. Hey, of course, here's an example for Python function that calculates the fact, you know, factorial of given number. So some example they have given, and this is the explanation what uh, chat GPT give. But what personally I feel, right? When I ask for the same question to my uh, Bard as well. Okay, when I ask for the, the same question to my Bard, you can see somehow the differences. Okay, let me paste the same content over here. Let me put enter. See, it is taking some time to produce you the response. It's not a, immediately, it's not giving you a response. It is taking some time to produce you the response. Okay. So anyway, even though if it is taking a time, see, uh, sure, here is an example for the Python function factorial. Okay. So it's giving you a different uh, program example, I believe. Yeah, almost same uh, type of example, n is equal to 0, zero to 10, uh, you know, some function name, whatever, almost giving you the same response. But what I personally feel, right, uh, by by exploring both, because before making a content, I need to, you know, uh, do some kind of, you know, uh, research and, uh, you know, uh, you no know, things and stuff, right? By the way, I came to know. So the explanation what given by Google Bard AI, it's much more better than Chat GPT what it is giving us. Of course, the response time it is taking. Okay, it's it's immediately it's providing you the response. For example, uh, if I ask for something, you know, uh, can you please uh, explain uh, what is uh, if over here? Maybe I I do, I'm unsure about this particular time. Uh, can you uh, please? Give me, uh, give me more info about if if I'm asking something. See, immediately it will start giving you a response. So if we go, see, immediately it starts giving you a response. Okay, quickly. All these things are immediately it's been generated. But when you you know face the same question in uh, Bard, you may expect some delay in providing answers. You can. Expect some delay in providing the answer. See, it's taking a time, it's loading, loading, loading. Almost three, four, five seconds it's taking to generate your answer. But one another good thing, right? Here, one by one, it's typing over here. Okay, one by one, one by one typing here. At all together, right? Once completion at this end, right? We'll have to wait. Okay, that takes more than five minutes. 
Let's take more than five minutes. So if you go there, can you please give more information about else? See, you can look at this. Okay, see, it's typing one by one. You need to wait for it till the completion. You need to wait for it. We, we are waiting for the complete information. We are waiting for the complete information. So here, even though it's taking time to provide you the uh, information, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, whatever, it's taking time to provide you the uh, generation of response, but all the answers you are getting in one click. Okay, you can see here, it's taking time, taking time to generate a response, taking time to generate, see, all the answer we got it in a single click. So it's it's almost what I personally feel. So chat GPT, uh, it's 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 taking a time, uh, it's, it's immediately giving a response, it's taking time, but complete response is giving. But other than the things, okay, whatever the response it's provided, right? So the explanation is, I personally feel like it's much more easy when compared to chat GPT. Okay, that's what I you know strongly everyone have to agree. Maybe if you want, you can try that out. But if the condition evaluates true, then block code in then under the if statement will be executed. Now the way of explanation, right, will be very much easy to understand when even a beginner can uh, search any things, right? It will be easily connect with them so you'll get the better answer so that's what in that way right i'm uh, uh, getting some uh, differentiation okay generation of response and the content and meaning okay again i am not telling um, chat gpt the content it's not uh, difficult to understand but still comparatively this is much more easier okay these are the uh, differences so far we have understood and next one okay so if you go there if you go there uh, i'm going to ask one information Hey, some confidential information. When I ask some confidential information to uh, chat GPT, safe hand, he will play in safe hand. Like he say, chat GPT will not give you such sensitive information at all to you. But it will, you know, uh, literally tell you like, hey, I am a AI. I can't, you know, answer something like that. See, I'll ask, can you please suggest me a, a good uh, national stock exchange stock to buy? for long time when i ask such question right what, what what could be you know if this kind of a i'm suggesting for my investment personal investment i'm asking idea to chat gpt but here you can see chat gpt you no know, i think chat gpt will play a uh, safe hand here see as an ai model i do not have access to real time data as knowledge up to september 21 that's why i cannot provide the real time stock recommendation investment stock market is involved risk is essential so since it's a risk so even long term short term whatever so it's it's as an ai tool i will not suggest like it's giving you an response where if you ask the same question to bard right i really surprised okay even bard is capable enough to provide you the uh, such sensitive information as well so taking time to generate a response Taking time to generate a response. Now, boom. See, sure. Here we are some good uh, national stock exchange stock to buy for long time. Reliance Industries. Reliance Industries, a multinational algorithm. So Tata Consultancy Service, TCS. So Infosys. No, HDFC Bank. Okay. Hindustan Unilever. So these are the company with the good growth, good profit. So even for your personal investment related things also, uh, Bard is capable enough to uh, suggest uh, the things for you. So, so Bard will not give you a blind answer like, hey, I am a AI tool. I can't suggest you like these and like there is no restriction. As much as possible, uh, which are you know uh, can be you know answered by Bard that are uh, easily suggested by uh, Google AI. Okay, this is how Chat GPT and uh, uh, Google AI uh, gets differed. Okay, and moreover, right uh, when you go future if you have I mean, anyone ask hey, hurry uh, so if if any of the uh, ai tool uh, future it will replace our job uh, we will not get any get a job to uh, you know because of this ai we will start lose our uh, job because of this if you ask me that like that of course there may be a chance see but we are not supposed to operate for that because when the uh, time internet is introduced to all our work that time people are telling that if internet comes right we will lose our uh, jobs but what happened the people who knows how to use internet right they are securely saved their uh, job similarly keep a habit of work with ai get the things uh, either in chat gpt or bot whatever even other companies also started focusing on other ai tools Future almost is going to be AI based thing only, artificial intelligence based thing only. Almost we are getting everything 
okay try to uh, have a habit of frequently using these kind of ai tools so you used to familiarize with that uh, so it will be easy for you to handle such situation in future if anything change okay i think this uh, video uh, giving you a good uh, information to you i believe so in this playlist itself i'll come up with the another uh, example another video so where i can uh, share more information about bard.google.com so you will get familiarized with how can we utilize this bard how can we efficiently know so you are working in any place how can we efficiently uh, provide our uh, you know productivity to our organization so if you work 8 hours or 9 hours per day by implementing a in your work right you can cut down uh, into uh, 3 hours you can complete your work okay that much things are there of course uh, upcoming video i'll try to explain those as well stay tuned if you really like the video uh, share with your friends that will be useful to them those who does not know but and uh, coming to uh, if you are uh, no if you are not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe so that which will motivate us to motivate us to create a future more videos okay thank you guys uh, we'll meet you on upcoming videos